Hi, right, folks, here we go again. Welcome to Points of Aim. Today I've got the 30 yards range. I'm one of the lads who I shoot with. His name's Al, so I'll say thanks, Al. Thanks for lending me your rifle. I've got a lovely rifle. I'm going to do some pellet testing with. So here we go. BSA R10 Gold Star 177 SE Hawk Scope. The reason I've got this is, um, this is regarded as a HFT or FT rifle, um, according to BSA. So I'm going to try some field target pellets. I've got a good mix yet. I'll go and put some targets up and I'll label them, let you know what the pellets are shortly. So keep watching and I'll be back shortly. Right, this is the target we're going to put up. Vairach FT, exact, 8.4 grain on the left, top left. Bottom left, Vairach F and T specials, 8.64 grain. Acupel, bottom right, Acupel FT, also 8.64 grain. At the top, we've got Daystate FT heavies, 10.25. So they're all claiming to be FT. I've got some H&N there that I'll put up after this, um, so I'll go and put the target down range, 30 yards, and um, then I'll start shooting. Groups of six, two inch target, 177, gold star, SE. Just before I put these targets up, I do uh, tend to out shoot myself, so You'll see a couple of videos, my FX Wildcat versus another FX. And like my Steyr versus the Air Arms S200. I do tend to rush the shots sometimes, so... When I do say one rifle has beat the other rifle, I am shooting at a five pence piece grouping. So don't forget that is only a small group, and they're only losing by fractions, and it's probably due to me rushing the shots. So take a bit of pinch of salt. Don't go out and buy a... Air Arms S200 instead of um, Steyr 5 hunting. Um, everybody can make their own choice, but I'm just trying to give you a rough idea. If you buy a second-hand rifle, you can save quite a lot of money. Um, do your homework first, but we're not here to talk about that. I'll put these targets up now on me as shoot through the BSA Gold Star SA that Al has lent me. So here we go, put the targets up. 30 yards, six shots each group. Right, folks, here we go. Top left corner. Vairach. FT exact. 8.44 grains, six shots. I'm using a uh, single shot tray. Quite impressed with them. I've done um, FT exacts before, 
these Vyrock pellets shooting through me Vyrock HW100s and the grouping was nowhere near as good as that. So next up is the F and T Specials Vyrock pellets. 0.64 grain, just a smidgen heavier. Six shots, bottom left corner. Just a slight drop, not much. So that was the F&T Specials, not bad grouping at all to be honest, not as good as the others but next up, Day State FT Heavies, as I say they've got FT on, I'm going to try them out today, and this is the top right hand corner, six shots. And these are 10.25, so these probably will have a little bit of a drop. Not bad grouping for the day states to be honest. Next up is the Acupel FT. 8.64 and it'll be the bottom right hand corner, six shots.
tell you what, not bad group in there. Um, it's going to be hard to pick out the seconds, but I think it's a bit clear what the winner might be. But I've still got another group of pellets to go. So I'll go and set the other target up and I'll swap them over and I'll do the same again. Um, six shots each, each uh, group. I'm just going to show you the pellets now, what I'm going to use next. So this is what we've got next. H&N field targets. H&N field targets. But one is a 4.50 head size. The other one is a 4.51 head size. Both 8.64 grains, both 177. And we've also got a sample pack. If I can zoom into the focus on that. It says test pack H&N Barracuda FT. There's 50 pellets in there. And you can see the tin on the screen of the phone. It does actually have FT on the screen. So that's why these are, these are the test pack for these. So I'm going to put these targets up 30 yards. Go and bring the other targets back. So let's set this up. I'll be back shortly. So here we go, field target trophies. I say field target in the words. So top left corner, and these are say just the same pellet, the top two, just a different head size. Let's see if they make a difference. So the top left six shots is a 4.50 head size. Bad grouping. Next one up, top right hand corner, 4.51 head size.
So I think the head size makes a slight difference. So next up are the Barracuda FT. Bottom middle target. These are slightly heavier, 9.57 grain. Not bad grouping at all, that. So that was the test pack for the H&M Barracuda FT. I think these, um, I think they hand-picked these before they put them in the tin or they do something like that, they're not just thrown in. Um, I'm going to retrieve this target, put them on the bench, get the coins out. If you can see me limping, by the way, I've got a touch of sciatica running from me back to me leg, whereas some of the earlier videos I probably haven't been limping, so that's why I'm walking a bit funny. So I'll just turn the camera off and I'll be back in a minute. What 30 yards looks like from the bench. These are the test groups now. I'm going to get some 5Ps out. Uh, it's not worth getting a 10 pence out because them groups are pretty tight. There we go. So, FT exacts. 5P covers that quite easy. Day state, FT heavies. There's an absolute minute bit of yellow on the edge. The Virarch FT special, tiny bit more yellow, just slightly more than the day states. And the Acupel FT, to be fair with you, I'm not going to get a micrometer out or a ruler out, anything like that. The Acupel FT and the Virac, junk first. And even though there's slightly a fraction more yellow on the FT specials than what there is on the day states, I'd call them a junk second. But now we're going to have a look at the H&N, see if they've done any better or any worse. There we go. Tiny bit of yellow, very similar to the Virach FT specials. 
Yeah, the 4.51 have grouped slightly better than the 4.50, similar to the day state, funny enough. And the H&M Barracuda FT at the bottom. Very good grouping. It, the 5P covers it quite easy, but I think the Virarch FT Exact and the Acupel FT joint first. And the H&M Barracuda, very, very close seconds to the other two. So, second, joint first. Quite sure if you try these yourself, uh, maybe if you've got a gold star, you might get better or worse grouping. Um, depends whether you've got a good barrel or bad barrel. Depends how shaky you are when you take your shot. But thanks for watching. I say take it with a pinch of salt. You're going to see some... Brand new almost FX Wildcat shoot up against the RWS Cutlass, which is now FX Cutlass. FX make it now. So take it with a pinch of salt. When I say one beats the other, it is only fractions of a millimetre. You know how big a 5P is. Uh, I am shooting at 30 yards. I know I'm indoor, but thanks for watching. And give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave us a comment, please, if you don't mind. And I, um, I'll try and keep you updated with the, as much as I can with any or new old pellets that might be coming out. So thanks for watching again and see you later.